Hello everyone. Welcome to EC Learning YouTube channel. I am Rajesh Shanti. Today we are going to study about CBSE Class 10 Civics Chapter 4. This is the first part of this chapter. Name of the chapter is Gender, Religion and Caste. Like my previous videos, the previous questions and answers of this chapter is being dealt from board exam point of view. We can move on to the first question of this chapter. Mention the various aspects of life in which women are discriminated in India. In most of the developing societies like India, we can find a stark discrimination on the basis of gender. As we all know, majority of the developing societies have a gender disparity. That means the societies are mainly male dominated and hence they consider females to be second citizens in the society. And that's the case in India as well. The boys and girls are brought up to believe that the main responsibility of women is domestic work or household work and to bring up the children. This is reflected in the gender division of labor in most families of our country. But the male population, they take up various responsibilities done by women at home when they are paid for. For example, in restaurants, laundries, etc., men dominate the work field because they have they are handsomely paid. But once the situation just shifts on to the homes, we can see that these domestic works are being done by women. Tailors, cooks, etc., are men. That's another example. Similarly, it is not that women do not work outside their home. Mainly in villages, jobs like collecting, uh, fetching water, collecting fuels, and works in the field are being done by women. In urban areas, poor women work as domestic helpers in middle class homes, while middle class women work in offices. In fact, majority of the women population actually does some sort of paid work in addition to domestic labor. But their work is not being valued and they are not duly recognized. Thus, women's role in public affairs is comparatively minimal in most developing societies including Indian society. Previously, only men are allowed to participate in public affairs, cast out and to contest for public offices. But the situation have changed in recent decades. The gender issue is now being a sensitive and a live topic in Indian politics. Women in different parts of the world organized and agitated over the last se several decades for equal rights in participation in the political field. As a result of these agitations, a demand for enhancing the political and legal status of women and improving their educational and career opportunities, opportunities have been uh, taken to the next level. In order to maintain equality in family and society, many movements surfaced and these movements are called feminist movements. The proportion of women in high income generating jobs even now are comparatively lower. The Equal Remuneration Act of 1976 provides that equal wages should be paid to equal for irrespective of genders. That means women, they have claimed that they deserve to get equal wages comparing to their male counterparts. Thus, 
as a result of these above movements to a very great extent the parity have been restored in the gender field in politics but still the indian society continues to exercise patriarchal and most parents prefer sons instead of daughters and hence sex based abortion rate is comparatively higher in our country female are not safe even within their home from beating harassment and other forms of domestic violence thus we have come to the end of the uh, first part of this uh, chapter thank you all for watching my video and leave your valuable comments in the comment box